and take this. What have I become? I can take this. I can't. My family needs to go to sleep, so I sneak out, get alcohol, hide it, pretend like I'm not drinking, but they know I'm drinking, and back to problems. But I need that. Why can't I just be normal? Not drink, go out with friends, drink, socially. Keep putting my family, people I love in jeopardy. For my selfishness. I wanna do something with my life. I wish it was different. And I've asked to God. But you, you don't listen. I've asked you so many times. I've lost relationships. Lost material things. I've lost opportunities. I've lost a lot of money. Just to go and get that fucking drink. I searched everywhere. Unless they found it and they threw it away or they drank it all. to kill myself probably be better I gotta keep putting my family and worrying them all the time with my situations I end up here in my own darkness I shouldn't be doing this. No, I shouldn't be doing this. Fuck. 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 I hope they don't wake up. I hope no one, no one wakes up and I come back home. When I obtain that spirit in my possession, so many feelings run through my body. Happiness, accomplished, relieved, joyful, fantastic, strong, powerful, stubborn, egocentric, narcissist, selfish, regretful, sadness, shameful, guilty, useless, unloving, unloved, empty, and most of all, a senseless monster. A man of life who wishes to escape from the chains that he has wrapped himself in and doesn't know a way out. It feels as if the man of life walks behind me, my angel protecting me from danger, telling me what's right from wrong but I ignore. The journeys I take to get to my destination, outsmarting people and watching my every step, obtaining one goal and one simple goal that is on my mind, 
to get that drink. A helpless feeling that is indescribable to explain. And if it is explained, I won't be understood by the simple fact that you are not like me. Which brings me back to that loneliness I feel. Quiet. Going back into the darkness world I live in. And knowing I won't ever be understood. So I close that door and keep to myself. To not let anyone into my heart and mind. Damaging myself. Physically. In my personal life. Knowing what is to come. But I ask myself. What have I become? The urge is unbelievable. Just how a baby cries for his bottle of milk. You shake. You sweat. Your mind is empty, forgets about everything and everyone else. At that point, your mind blacks out. You are careless, selfish. You're anxiously counting the seconds of relief when you open that can or bottle. That's the sound of relief. You fiend for that liquid to touch your tongue. That is the best feeling of taking that first sip. Feeling how it runs through my body and blood. Making me feel numb. Everything slow. My heart finally slowing down. Feeling relaxed. Not caring what anyone thinks about me. If they even love me. If they even care about me. I've always been alone anyways. Makes me escape this fucking reality. My fucking troubles. My fucking thoughts. Fuck everything. Fuck everyone. I have tried my best. I've tried everything I can. I am an alcoholic. I am an alcoholic with no hope.
I am weak. I can no longer live sober. It's ripping me apart, deep inside my heart. My organs, my loved ones, my dreams. Who the fuck have I become? Why can I get rid of this? I've asked to God. I've asked the devil. I've asked for help. And I can't take this out of my life. I need to end this. And suicide's the first thing on my mind. The suffering alive is killing me slowly. This is not me. I've lost myself. This is the sixth day of binge drinking and narcotics. And I will continue till I die. My name is Christian and I'm an alcoholic. I made this short film with a purpose to show people what an alcoholic goes through, what he feels, what he does, what he says, what he thinks. I know some scenes are a bit too much, but I'm a person who is raw on showing and telling how things really are. So you understand an alcoholic or want to know what an alcoholic is. An alcoholic wants to stop and change, see what you are doing to yourself. This is not even half of the full story of what has happened in my life. It's so bad more than you can imagine. I have really damaged myself, starting with my health, personality, life choices, way of thinking to my family and friends, love life, and life achievements. People won't ever understand an alcoholic, so don't worry, you are not alone. I wish someone out there would have told me the consequences this drinking would have cost me. And I am here to help and talk to anyone. Learn from my mistakes or others' mistakes Maybe you need to learn the hard way. Maybe I can't 
Maybe I can help you, but I can't sit here and let someone ruin their lives without me telling them the truth, guiding them a straight path. Not everything is about drinking. Listen to what I'm saying, please. There is hope for you, my brothers and sisters. People are quick to judge and say, he's an alcoholic, a junkie, a no one, weak. But deep down, they don't truly know what goes inside our mind, how our body feels when we stop drinking. Like I've said, it's an unexplainable feeling. They say it's a genetic thing and it's been proven. Through a long-term drinking, you become dependent. It changes your brain cells. This is a physiological and anatomical fact. And it's a controversial thing. You might have alcoholic family members, but you're able to stop, drink, and function on your everyday life. Not all of us are lucky to be like that. And I hope you understand an alcoholic and help them. Don't approach them when they aren't sober. They will not understand or comprehend you. He will be aggressive. Have everyone that loves him talk to him. Express your feelings. I know you are angry and tired at that person. Use patience, love, get into their heart. Don't ignore the fact they have a drinking problem. Don't attack them with words and actions. An alcoholic is a sick person. They might be the worst when they are drinking, but they are human. They are in a delicate state of mind. Any word will be stuck in their head and later remember and use that as a grudge, as a reason to drink. We always look reasons to drink. These are the things I wish people would have done for me, but it never happened. And I hope you, an alcoholic, are able to stop. There is hope. I have been there and it sucks because you feel alone. Trust me. Go out there. Don't be scared. Don't feel ashamed. Go online, join AA groups, go to AA meetings, read the AA book, the big book. It's a big eye opener. I put my whole sobriety on it. It opened my mind and it changed the way I was thinking. I have read this book before, but, but this time I really put my mind, heart and soul into it. And I analyzed every word. I got to the point where I had enough. I cried from reading each sentence. It felt as if the book was describing me, telling my story and, and the feelings I felt, the way people were getting hurt because of me. It really touched my heart. This is where it gets difficult for alcoholics who have lost their faith. You don't trust God. You don't believe in anything. You know you've cried for help. I've cried. I've begged. But we can't expect change without effort. And taking that first step also, the strength for my sobriety is thanks to my faith in a higher power. Each one has their own beliefs, but you must believe in a higher power in order to set yourself onto the right path. Not just let your higher power do the work. You need to put everything you have completely and surrender to His will. You will get the strength and the knowledge to know the difference in making the right decisions and going on the right path. We are not saints, but we are alcoholics who want to show you there is hope. And if we did it, so can you.